Hey guys, Eugene here from Review Outdoor Gear and today I have a new product to introduce for you. This right here. A gentleman actually requested this from us earlier and we've been, we started making these. It took a while to design it because of uh, all the different parts involved in this. Um, it's a very, a little bit different than what we usually do, but this is a tape measure holster. I want to show you everything about it and uh, kind of do my own little introduction of the product and a, I guess my own little review. Although, you know, we do make this so we do have that bias, but Hopefully this will teach you a little bit about what it is and hopefully uh, if you are interested in this and you like it, you can purchase one of these. So let's get into some of the details. So right off the bat guys, I wanna say that um, the website, the links to Amazon and to the uh, website, they will have a really nice picture of this thing with all of the measurements and all of the specifications if you wanna review that real quick. But here I'm gonna show you more of the functionality as well as cover some of the details. So um, basically this thing is made out of two pieces of leather, one of which you know, runs all the way across here, and then we have this little pouch built on here. It's all hand-stitched. Um, the pocket here is hand-stitched all around, and then we have a stitch that holds this thing, the belt part of it down, down here. Um, and then back here, you can see that the metal plate with the holster itself is riveted on with solid brass rivets. And then we have an aluminum plate here which is an eighth inch thick. And air, it's a aluminum alloy. It's a very strong aluminum. And then we have a 18 gauge stainless steel bar here, which is very, very sturdy. I mean, if you really pushed on this, you could probably bend it, but I mean, it's, it's really, really tough. And then it's also uh, tumbled to make it nice and smooth so there are no sharp edges on any of this, of this stuff. Again, it's all br uh, solid brass rivets all throughout. Um, it's very, very snug and secure and this thing should last you a very long time. Um, you know, if anything breaks, we, we're very good about repairing things for you guys or whatnot. So here's what it is. Now, let me also say that this is the full max version of this, um, meaning that it has a pouch, you know, it has this really large belt holster here, belt loop, which will allow you to carry, a, carry it on a belt up to like about three and seven eighths inches. Um, we will have another version in the links down in the description that will not have this pouch pocket. It will only have the holster piece itself. And um, that will be uh, with a belt loop as well. So there will be two versions so far. If more available, you know, you can see them down uh, in the description. So yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. Um, we really try to make it nice and fine. We use a really nice and thick um, veg tan leather and we, uh, also oil it with mink oil, and uh, it should, should be very, very durable. And it should take on a very nice patina as time goes on with uh, the three different metals here. So let me show you more of how it actually works and operates. All right, guys, so here it is on my belt. Um, obviously this is a, what is this, I think a one and three, or one and a quarter belt. I mean, it'll fit a huge belt, very thick, very wide belt, no problem. Um, it's exactly three inches wide. It'll comfortably carry a two inch clip and so this is a three by three plate. Um, and the whole thing is about uh, seven and a quarter inches long this direction. Um, the pouch here is, you know, the thing about the pouch is, so it's about um, a three eighths inch deep. This is a half inch deep here, but the pouch is formed to have this bevel around it, but it can be stretched to different uh, sizes as needed. The thing is once you stretch it, it's a little bit harder to actually get it to shrink. So just make sure you realize that. So this is really designed for somebody who mostly uses a tape measure in their work. You know, if you're a, um, if you carry a big tool belt with all sorts of stuff, then this is not going to be very practical. You know, if you're maybe just surveying something or um, anyway, any job where you constantly use a tape measure, I know a lot of guys will clip it onto their pocket, uh, but that wears your pants down really fast. Um, so this is designed for anybody that's really just using a tape measure and perhaps some other tool. Um, you know, you can just get the tape measure version but the, the one with the pouch is designed to carry other things. So just keep in mind, you know, this is kind of who we're going for here. For anybody who's got the need for a tape measure just all the time, it will carry very large tape measures like this 25 footer Stanley Fat Max. Um, it will carry, you know, even 35 foot ones, no problem. As long as the clip will fit on here and be able to slide it on. Now you can see it's really, really easy to, uh, to put it on there, really easy to aim. And um, that metal clip is really, really nice there to carry your tape measure. And um, it should stay on there 
really nice and secure, shouldn't go anywhere, and it's really, really sturdy there. So you can see, and because of that steel, the 18 gauge, you know, it'll take a very, very long time for you to wear through that. So there's that. You can also carry smaller tape measures like this 16 foot little tape measure, um, little clip here, you can see, no problem. Um, but I mean, I probably wouldn't quite need it for that one. This is more aimed towards the bigger ones like, like these here. Um, but you can carry a tiny one if you, if that's what you do use. So just like that. Now this top pouch can be used for just a variety of things. Um, you could carry pencils in it, you know, if you're constantly marking something. Um, it's a little bit large for a pencil, meaning that it's not going to be super tight in there with the pencils. Um, but definitely fit in there. You know, perhaps you just use one other tool, like a little pliers or something like that. You can fit it in there. And if you keep using that tool in there, it will, with time, stretch to carry just that tool very, very well. So do keep that in mind. Um, one thing that you can also carry here is like a really nice uh, pocket knife or one of these razor knives. And you can actually clip it onto the pocket like that. It's a little bit tight right now going in, but again, with time, it'll get nice and loose to where you should be able to put that in one-handed. I haven't been putting this in here too much, so you can see it's a little tight, but that will work with time. So that's the beauty of leather, that it stretches and allows you to carry, you know, whatever you need. Um, again, you know, it could be just a little pocket knife like this too. You fit it all the way in with the clip or whatever it is, uh, whatever option you want to use. So, yep, that is kind of the functionality and the way this is going to work. But mainly, I think that you guys will appreciate the way that that clip slides onto that tape measure. Now, um, if you're having to kneel or any of that kind of thing, you know, it'll still stay nice and accessible right where it is with no problem. Um, and uh, you can kind of see that it lays up against your body. This little bend here has flex. And so um, it will stay very, very comfortable. Um, sitting down, same thing, no problem. Now, if you're going to be getting into a vehicle uh, that has a buckle, you know, this will probably get in the way. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, you know, a bait belt buckle would be somewhere right here. And so it might get in the way. You shouldn't be landing to sit on it, depending on where you put it on your pants, but it's not going to land under your butt. Um, so it should be nice and comfy that way. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching that video. Um, if you have any questions about the tape measure holster, please leave them in the comment section below or send us an email at reviewoutdoorgear at gmail.com. Um, check out the website as well as the Amazon page. Mostly this will start on Amazon. Should be available in the links there. And, um, you know, let us know what you guys think. And um, we'll go from there. So we're really happy to bring this to you guys, to those of you who need it. And uh, hopefully it'll serve you well and for a long time. Thank you so much. Don't forget to praise God. And we'll see you guys in the next video, hopefully with another product coming out soon. It's been Eugene from Review Outdoor Gear.